Oh my gosh. I think I struck gold. Ah, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they were rocks. Okay, that's good. I'm Ashley, and I think that all the cool stuff you see online doesn't have to stay online. I'm going to bring one stranger's digital style to life by giving their space a makeover based on their social media accounts. Oh, wow. Hey, everybody, it's Ashley, and today, Spacelift is taking on a new frontier, the outdoors. The other day, I got a message on Instagram from Claire King. Her, her husband, and their dog Marvin live here in Manhattan, and they actually have a yard. Like, who has a yard in Manhattan? However, they're not utilizing the yard to its fullest potential at all. Take a look at the video she sent me. Hey, Ashley, we would love to have you come make over our backyard. We've spent a lot of time and energy just getting it to this kind of really bare bones. It was covered in trash back here when we moved in, but we haven't really had the energy since then. And I just need a little bit of help kind of getting it to the next level and being able to use it for uh, for guests and entertaining and also just like hanging out back here. We feel really, really lucky that we get to have an outdoor space in Manhattan. So we want to make sure that we're using the best fit. Thank you. Bye. In New York City, outdoor space is very valuable, coveted, and hard to find. So the fact that they have this is amazing, and we wanna make sure that all three of them, Marvin included, can enjoy it. We're gonna help them out with that today, and here is how we're gonna do it. First, I'll do some research. I'll use all my detective skills to find out who they are and what they like. Then comes the makeover. I'll have two days to completely make over the space in a way that perfectly fits their personality. Finally, the big reveal will show them their new space and see if I was able to translate their digital style into an awesome new yard. So Claire does work in my office, but I don't really know her. I would like to get to know her better, so I am gonna start by just, you know, being really creepy and looking at everything she's ever posted online. So so let's get started. All right, Claire S. King. So she's the head of culinary at Tasty. So all the awesome recipes that always make you drool on your timeline, Claire is the mastermind behind a lot of those. Obviously, Claire not only works in the food industry, but she loves food in general in her personal life because literally all of these pictures are food. Let's see who she is following to try and get some style inspiration. Jennifer Garner, okay, I see some overlap there. Gwyneth Paltrow, okay, a lot of celebrities. Oh, interesting, okay. I'm seeing a couple of architecture accounts that she's following. Very cool. Super clean lines, very white accents in like all of these pictures. Okay, this is like a good find. This is good information. Maybe we get the not multi-million dollar version <laughs> of this design aesthetic and we make her a backyard inspired by that. Good morning, it is the first day of our makeover. We have two days to get this done. I'm a little nervous because I've never made over a backyard before. We only have two days and it is supposed to torrential downpour tomorrow. So uh, the odds aren't exactly in our favor, but it's okay, we're gonna work through it. I have a couple of friends coming over to help me out. Let's go look at what the space is like. So that's what we're working with. It has a ton of potential. I just know it, I'm really excited. And we have a list of six projects that we have to get done in order to totally transform this place by tomorrow night when Claire and her husband get back. The first is just cleaning up the place. I'm going to sod all these areas here and then we will power wash the patio section. Our second project is creating a little garden in the back of the yard. But the catch is we're gonna make a garden specifically for the colder months. For our third project, I'm going to spray paint and waterproof some old thrift store chairs. The fourth project is to create some light stands so we can have string lights over the patio area. Then for our fifth project, we're going to turn a fire pit into basically a giant terrarium. And then for our sixth and last project, we're going to create a little movie night area with a projector and a lounge set. Before we get started on any of those projects though, we need to clear out this space, get rid of the old furniture, and get ready to start project number one. The first part of our cleanup is to sod the dirt areas of this yard. I knew I wanted to have grass, and I also knew we could not make grass grow in two days. When I started looking up the prices of sod, I almost had a heart attack because that was just 110% not in the budget. The sod itself is really not that expensive. It's the installation that will really get you. So we are doing it ourselves today. First, we need to loosen up the top six to eight inches of dirt and make sure that the surface is even. Then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of garden soil on top because 
This dirt has been pretty barren for a while and is probably in need of some nutrients. Then we lay it out. It's actually that easy. And then any oddly shaped areas, you can just trim with a box cutter, super easy. Yay, grass! The last part of our cleanup is to power wash the paving stones in the patio area. This place is looking totally different already. I am so happy we went with the sod and now I have a new skill, so I'm really excited about that too. It is time for project number two. Deanna is actually going to create a little garden right here behind me and it is not just gonna survive in the winter months, it's gonna thrive in the winter months. I know what everybody's probably thinking, why are you planting a garden? It's November, but I promise this is actually a really great time to do these things because it's not too hot in the middle of the summer where things are just gonna burn instantly. Hello, Miss Deanna. Hey, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I know this is supposed to survive in the winter. What plants are they? What did you do? So I've got some ornamental cabbages. Cabbages and kale are really good and hardy. They'll survive Wait, through the winter. Cabbage? Yeah, all these plants also require direct sunlight, and I noticed that the way the sun comes in through this yard, it hits this area pretty strongly. This is a sedum, which is actually a type of succulent, so the leaves retain moisture. And they have like really pretty pink flowers that'll come out. Cutie! Okay, it's like time. That. So yeah, all the plants are pretty hardy. Okay, cool. All right, then I'll leave you to it. I'm excited. I really wanted to give Claire a fire pit because you know, s'mores, good times, who doesn't want a fire pit? But apparently you actually are not allowed to have a fire pit in New York City. I was majorly bummed, so I think I have an even better idea. We are going to make a giant terrarium out of this fire pit. We're gonna put some succulents, a couple of different plants, a cactus or two, and also some seasonal accessories. And even some citronella candles, A, to make it look cute, and B, to ward off any bugs that might be lingering. The sun is kind of starting to set, but I do want to squeeze in one last project, and that is because it involves painting. I went thrifting the other day, and I got a bunch of mismatched chairs from the thrift store for super cheap but what I'm gonna do is spray paint them all one color so not only do they match each other, but they match the vibe of the yard. So let's go spray paint these chairs. All right, that is a wrap on day one. I am very tired, I'm very sore, but I'm super satisfied because we got a ton done and I'm really excited for tomorrow. That's when the fun decorating part comes into play. However, <laughs> Every time I talk to somebody, they're like, oh, you know what's gonna torrential downpour tomorrow? I've been afraid to check for myself, but I'm gonna do it right now because I just gotta look. Hey Google, what's the weather for tomorrow? There'll be thunderstorms with a high of 55 and a low of 47. There is currently a flash flood watch in effect. Oh, thanks. So you heard it here first. I don't know what we're gonna do. I hope everything still stands when we get there. It's halfway done, so we're, we're in it now. We just gotta finish it. So I'm gonna do that and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, so we're running into some problems. So like I said, a torrential downpour yesterday. So all the power washing we did on Monday is now completely gone. And now all of us are on our hands and knees trying to scrub. We got some ugly clothes on. Look at this, look at this look. So we're currently trying to problem solve, but everybody's has great attitudes and we're doing it. The first project of the day is project number five, and Karn is gonna be taking care of this one. She's making some super cool light stands so that we can have a little string light canopy above the dining area. Hello, Tornado. Hello. What are you doing? I'm, I mean, I kinda know what you're doing, but can you walk me through what you yeah. made here? It looks so good. Well, we're trying to make these string light poles because we wanna give Claire some lights when she's dining al fresco. So we put some poles in a you know cement pot and then took out the pot and then added some little cup hooks here so that we can add the lights and together it will become a canopy of lights. So cute. And you, these are just like regular dowels. Yeah, they're just regular dowels that we then stain for the color to match all of the furniture. So good. Okay, great. Can I help you put on the lights? Yes, let's put on the lights. Yahoo! The final project, I am so excited. We are creating a little movie corner for Claire with a projector and a big piece of canvas. It's super cheap and a great way to have outdoor movie nights with lots of people. All we did was get a big piece of canvas and some S hooks and of course the projector. And we use the S hooks to hang the canvas onto the fence and we have a little outdoor movie theater. The checklist is done and with no time to spare. I think it's looking awesome, but we still need to put a lot of finishing touches on. So I have to go do that because we have 15 minutes. Chris and Claire are gonna be here and then they have to see their new backyard. So let's do it.
We are really scrambling to finish, but it's looking really good and everything, and they're gonna be here in literally 10 minutes, and I'm kind of having a panic attack. Okay, but look at how good everything's looking. Okay, so I just heard a knock at the door, and I know it's Claire and Chris, and I'm kind of panicking. <laughs> I wish I was kidding, but I'm not. Let's see. Hello, look who it is. Hi. Oh my gosh, we're so excited. <laughs> Hi, Hi. Hi. Okay, I'm gonna take them to the balcony. Come this way, big step. Claire steps up. Up, uh, up, uh, there we go, down. Okay. Down, and there's a little Chris, wire here. are you stepping? Come good. this way. Okay, now you can step down. Watch that little wire. Okay. Eyes closed, eyes closed. Come this way. And open your eyes. <gasps> oh, wow. Look at that. Oh. There's proper grass. <laughs> oh my God! You guys! It looks amazing. It looks incredible! Oh my gosh, you guys, it looks so clean and put together and like, like amazing! Oh my God, can we go downstairs? And yes, we'll go downstairs! <laughs> Guys, seriously, this is so nice. Okay, first of all, the reason for like the white because mm -hmm. I saw that you were following a lot of architecture accounts. Yes. That have like very clean decks and white terracotta, all these things. So that's sort of how the inspiration came from. Scandinavian today. chic is what I call it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I wish I would have known that when I was putting this mood board together. That could have been even better North Star. Okay. No, this is amazing. Like, you nailed it perfectly. I am obsessed. Best. I never wanted to leave out here. This is so nice back here. Aww. I love the lights too. It adds a nice ambiance yeah. to the space. Yeah. A little moody. A little, a little moody. moody. The candles light. Hey, Mark! Hey! Hey, buddy! Hi, buddy. I think he likes it. Do you like the grass? He's so excited. He's Aww, thrilled. Look at him. Okay, guys, we just finished this gorgeous backyard. Everybody say hi. Hi. There's Claire. Backyard owner, look at this. And now we're just sitting having champagne because I think we've earned it. Thank, Thank you, you guys so much so for having much. us. No, really, so fun. Thank you so much. Yay, we did it!